Now, one of the most unique marathons in the world takes place in the Bay Area, but it's not open to everyone. A new documentary making its San Francisco debut next week takes a look at the running club inside San Quentin. Game time. Three, two, one, go. The documentary 26.2 to Life is one of the opening night films of the San Francisco Documentary Film Festival inside California's oldest prison and the 1,000 Mile Club, a running group where volunteer coaches from the outside trained the incarcerated men to run a full marathon on the prison's lower yard. Earlier today, I had a chance to speak with the documentary's director, Christine Yu, and one of the film's subjects, Jonathan Chu. Chu ran five marathons inside San Quentin before Governor Jerry Brown commuted his sentence in 2018. The stresses of prison life, you know, it, I, I'm able to take it out on the track, you know, uh, so, and basically just relieve all the stress. You know, when I'm running, I don't imagine, even though I'm running in a circle in the prison yard, uh, I don't think I'm running in prison. I, I imagine myself running out in society. Rasan Thomas, who is also one of the main subjects of the film, he does say something in it. And he was like, you know, if you're living a life sentence or if you're running a marathon, you know, sometimes it's better not to think about how far you have to go but really just taking it one step at a time and one mile at a time. For many of them had been sentenced to extremely long sentences, but you know, we're, we're defying the odds. I mean, I, I just feel like I am my brother's keeper. That uh, if, if he needs help, I'm gonna try to help him. The day that I got out, the running coaches were at the prison gate waiting for me. Like they are, even, I got out during the, uh, COVID uh, pandemic, the coaches come in and show them that support. And it's not just they're coming inside, they're waiting for you outside. And, you know, they keep in touch and, you know, and, um, you know, they get us to run races and, you know, take me out to dinner. And it's just like, it's a, it's a, it's a bonding moment. Again, we're family. 2053 is my EPRD, earliest possible release date. I'll be 86 years old. If I keep running, I'll be all right. You guys stay positive. Really wholeheartedly believe that um, giving people the opportunity to have programs and activities and an opportunity to engage with free people and community has a positive impact on, on people, not just for people inside, but also on the volunteers. You know, I think that they have been equally transformed through the process.